Hey guys, welcome back. Well, in this uh, little tutorial, we're going to look at a uh, photo mechanic. Now, in my personal opinion, a must have if you uh, work professionally because this will speed up your workflow like crazy. Okay. But instead of uh, talking about it, let's uh, dive in and I'll show you. Here we go. Right guys, well, as I said in the intro, why is photo mechanics so cool? It is so cool because it is fast. It is fast as lightning. And if you are processing hundreds of photographs, that is what you want. I mean, it's gonna shorten your workflow like crazy, okay? Now, this is basically what you see when you open up photo mechanic. I don't usually select my folder in this window right here, so I'm just gonna shut that down. And I'm just gonna go into the navigator right here, right? Now, if you pop in an SD card while this program is running, it will show you and you can select it there. I'm just gonna double click on it right here. Okay, now when I do that, I get this warning and this is absolutely awesome. What it says is the way I have set my uh, settings right now, um, Photo Mechanic will not mess with my original images on my SD card, okay? It's gonna view them on screen here, and later on when I decide to copy them, it will do that, but it will not touch my images whatsoever. And that's perfect, okay? So I am going to select yes. All right. Now, once I do that, I get a bunch of images. These are just random images that I threw on my SD card for demonstration purposes. And down here, because these are videos, there are no thumbnails, okay? All right, so I got these on my screen. Now, what I use this for is to do a initial uh, culling session. So I quickly run through my images to get an idea which ones I want to continue with and edit and which ones I do not. So I'm just gonna double click on this first image right here which will open up this window and I'll show you how fast these previews are I'm just going to use my arrow buttons to left and right and here we go I mean this is crazy fast and that's perfect okay all right so I got these pictures here now let's say that instead of uh, completely different images this, uh, these are images of, let's say, a wedding, okay? Where you got 10 or 20 or 50 pictures that are basically the same, but you know, small differences. So what I would do is I would start with my first picture and then I can rate this from uh, one to five, okay? Now, if I hit a one, you see that the color down here, the tab turns to pink, okay? Two will get red, three will get orange, four will get yellow and five will get green. Now I usually just use five or nothing. So basically I want to do an, uh, an edit session or not. And uh, then I go into Lightroom and I do the second selection, okay? So let's say I want this, five. I move to the next one, five. And I decide that I like this one better than the last one. So I can go back and hit zero to get rid of that green, okay? So that's a five. We'll do a five here, five here, five there. You get the idea, okay? Right, so now that I have a bunch of uh, photos selected with a number five, what I wanna do is I want to um, select them for further processing. So I'm just gonna move this bar out of the way here for a sec. And we're just gonna close this down. So these are green. I'm just gonna hit that cross up here. Now you see that in my uh, overview of photographs, I have a number of them that are green. Now I can do a couple of things down here in this colored bar. I can click on green so all the green tagged ones will disappear like this, or I can hit it again and it's back, or I can go all the way to the right and select that black one. And when I do that, everything will disappear except the ones that I rated green. Okay, so I'm gonna hit that, there we go. And what I wanna do next is I basically wanna have copies of these sent to my desktop in a folder where I can pick them up from Lightroom, okay? So I'm gonna hit Control A to select all of them. And I'm gonna go up to File, and we're gonna to go to Copy and Move Photos. And again, it's a copy, okay? So your photographs on your SD card are still intact. So uh, I'm gonna to go to, uh, let's see. Um, let's see what folder I'm gonna use here. Just give me a sec. Okay, so on my uh, C drive, I created an empty folder called it rated five, okay? I'm gonna select that and I'm gonna hit, oh, there you go, it's already going. And copy. Now, keep in mind that 
I have these pictures rated. If I shut down Photo Mechanic or whatever, it's not gonna remember, okay? So I'll have to start the culling process over again. It's not gonna keep the green tags, so that's pretty important, okay? Now, just to prove to you that these have actually been copied to uh, my desktop, I will show you. All right, here we are. Well, we got our rated five folder right here. And as you can see, these have been copied, okay? So uh, that's basically all there's to it for this initial video. Uh, like I said, I use it for calling. It speeds up my workflow like crazy, and that's why I love it, okay? Um, all right, so that's basically it. If you've got any questions about this video, please let me know. If you've got any requests about Photo Mechanic that you want a video on, please let me know as well. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. And if you want to see more in the future, don't forget to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.